The battle over how to tackle the state's crime problem is heating up at the Roundhouse. An LFC report states changing pretrial detention will not lower crime. The Bernalillo County District Attorney is firing back, saying the report is wrong and it will help. We have both sides tonight. We, the legislature, will determine what dangerousness is. Lawmakers will consider a bill that would give clear guidance to judges on when they should allow accused criminals out free until their trial. That this is narrowly, narrowly tailored to what are called serious violent offenses. That's murder, sexual assault, child abuse, human trafficking, the use of a weapon, the discharge of a weapon. But in an LFC memo given to lawmakers last week, it states keeping more people behind bars is not the solution. For every one person that you would detain who would commit a new violent crime, you would detain an additional 10 people who would not. You announced Paul Guerin is behind the study from 2017 through 2021. He says out of more than 15,000 cases in Bernalillo County, 757 defendants committed another crime while out on GPS monitoring. The memo instead highlights shortcomings in the work done by police and prosecutors as contributing factors to our rising crime rate, including a lack of arrests and case dismissals. As social conditions deteriorated, the criminal justice system held fewer and fewer people accountable while crimes continued to increase. Ensuring swift and certain accountability for criminals, along with addressing root causes of crime, are key to public safety. Research shows the cert that certainty of being caught is a more powerful deterrent to crime than severity of punishment. It really comes home when, you know, not when you're some researcher at arm's length or some bureaucrat that works for a court. Try being a prosecutor. Try being a police officer. Have face-to-face -face contact with the mother of somebody who was killed by an individual who should have been locked up. District Attorney Raul Torres disputes the data given to lawmakers. They are counting things, for example, where we intentionally dismiss cases in state court against violent repeat offenders and offenders with firearms so that we can move them into federal court. Today, lawmakers in the Senate Judiciary Committee heard from both sides. And the Public Defender's Office also presented at the Roundhouse today, saying they have significant issues with making changes to pretrial detention, including constitutional concerns.